In this video, we're going to do an example of a two lens imaging system. And in our example, I've designed it so that all of the images and all of the objects are real. And in this example, we're going to find the following things. We're going to find where the image is located. The final image after it goes through both of these lenses, we're going to find the overall system magnification whether the final image is real or virtual. And we're going to trace some rays through the system to see how they how they behave, how to do ray tracing through this type of a multi stage optical system. And in this system, we've got two converging lens, let's say that our first focal length is 30 centimeters. Our second focal length is 11 centimeters. The distance to our object is initially 80 centimeters. And I'll call this distance L between the two lenses. This distance is 70 centimeters. And both lenses, because they have positive focal lengths, are converging. And I've drawn them as converging because, or I've drawn them as convex. So how do we solve this system? Well, this is actually two separate problems. The first problem is imaging through lens one. The second problem is imaging through lens two. And so we're going to break this up into two separate problems. So let's draw out the first one first. So this is our first problem, and this contains all the information that we need to solve it. We have our object distance, we have the lens that we're imaging through, and we need to figure out where the image is located. So I've completely ignored the second lens for the time being. We don't need to worry about the second lens. We're treating this as it's entirely, as an entirely separate problem. Unfortunately, this is a problem that we know how to do because we know how to image through a single lens. And we know that we usually start with our favorite imaging equation, one over DO plus one over DI is equal to one over F. And here we want to find the image location, we have F and we have DO. So if we rearrange this for DI, we'll get that it's equal to one over F minus one over DO, all inverted. Now in this case, all the quantities are positive. So we don't have to worry too much about signs. So one over 30 minus one over 80. And I factor out uh, centimeters. This is inverted, because we had a centimeters on the bottom a centimeters on the bottom and then invert it that becomes regular old centimeters. And if you solve this equation, you'll get that this is equal to 48 centimeters. So we have our image location. And so let's draw that out on this on this diagram, we know that our image location. Let's draw it also in blue, it's going to be about slightly more than half of what the object distance is. So this is di, I'm just eyeballing it here. And this is equal to 48 centimeters. Now, since we know di, we can also calculate the magnification, because the magnification for a single lens is just minus di over do. And we know both those quantities here. So that's minus 48 centimeters over 80 centimeters, which is equal to minus 0.6. So we can now draw what our image should look like. So it, because it's got a negative sign out front, it should be inverted. And because the magnitude is 0.6, it'll be slightly more than half of our object height. So uh, no, that's that's a little too short. Maybe like, like that. That's that's roughly what I expect our image to look like. And we also know because di is greater than zero, that means that this image is real. So we have some rays which are going to genuinely converge on this side of the lens to create a real image. So finally, if we want to trace some rays through this system, my two favorite rays are always one that goes straight through the center of the lens, unless we need to draw other rays for some some other type of reason. But if we just want to draw two rays so that they go from this object and meet at the image, 
we can draw one passing straight through the center of the lens, and that should be totally unperturbed, so its direction shouldn't change. And we expect it to go from the top of the object to the top of the image, and I've done my measurements roughly correct, so that looks to be true. My second favorite ray is one that goes straight through the lens, and this one gets bent by the focal length of the lens, and it should also go from the this plane of the lens to the tip of the object. So I'll draw it like this. Now, for now, we're just considering thin lenses, but if we weren't, this plane would call, be called the back focal plane. So now we've solved the first part of our problem. So we can go back up to our original diagram and draw everything that we now know. So we know that the first image distance is going to be about 48 or is going to be 48 centimeters, that the image is real and pointing down. So I'll draw it like like that. And we know what the rays will look like. One will pass right on through the center of the lens and meet the object like so. The other one will hit the focal plane of the lens, or back focal plane if we're being precise and then go to meet the object here. And we know this distance, which let's let's call it, we called it DI, but let's call it DI1, because it's the first image location, is at 48 centimeters. And now we know that the first magnification M1 is equal to minus 0.6. Now to solve this problem in its entirety, all we need to do is take this image from the first lens and use it as the object for our second lens. And the only real piece of information that we're missing at this point is what is the object distance for our second lens. Now, you might think, well, the object distance is just this, so 70 centimeters plus 80 centimeters, so it's 150 centimeters. But remember that we're using the first image as the object for our second lens. So the object distance is this distance here. And this distance is L minus DI1. It's this distance minus this distance, which is just equal to 22 centimeters. So this is the problem that we have to solve. We have to solve this separate single lens imaging problem. So let's do that now. So I've drawn out the problem that we actually have to solve. We have one object one lens, and we just need to find where the image is located. So that's all we need to do. And fortunately, we know how to do that. We start with our favorite equation, one over DO plus one over DI is equal to one over F. And again, we're solving for the image location. So we know that DI is one over F minus one over DO, all inverted. And if you plug stuff in, you solve for di, you'll get that it is equal to 22 centimeters, and specifically positive 22 centimeters. So this is our answer for the image. Now, because it's positive, we know that that means it's a real image. We can also calculate the magnification using minus di over do, which is valid for a single lens, which is all we have here. And so that's minus 22 centimeters over 22 centimeters, which is just minus one. And so we have almost everything we need. And all, all we need to do now is trace out what the rays look like. So we, because DI is the same distance as DO, they're both 22 centimeters. Uh, let's draw that as being a little longer like that. We also know that the image should be flipped relative to the object. So it'll be at this location and its height is gonna be the same as the object because the, ma the magnitude of the magnification is one. So if I were to draw my rays, they'd go from, I would draw one through the center of the lens, which goes from the tip of the object to the tip of the image. The second one, my favorite, second ray is to draw it going into the center of the lens because that gets bent to the focal length 
or it intersects the focal length of the lens at the optical axis and then keeps going on through and meets the tip of the object or the tip of the image where the image is formed right here. And I had to fudge it a little bit, but that's roughly where it'll, this, this is where it should intersect. So now we can take this back to our original problem and we know the image distance was 22 centimeters. So this distance, I'll call this DI2, was 22 centimeters. And we know that the image from this object is flipped. So it's now right side up. And it's the same size as our first image. So if we draw some rays, we can just copy what we drew in the below. Oh, let's draw them in red. So one goes from tip to tip straight through the lens. The other goes from tip to tip through the back focal plane of the lens. And our rays are going in this direction. We also know our magnification for the second system. We solved for that. It was equal to negative one. And so we can calculate the overall system magnification, which is just M1 times M2, or negative 0.6 times negative one, which is just equal to 0.6. And that's consistent with our ray tracing. Our original image was upright, our final image was upright, or our original object was upright, our final image is upright, and it's smaller. It's slightly more than half the size. And because we have actual rays intersecting to form the image, and because our second image distance is positive, we know that our overall image is real. So it's not virtual. We also found the location of the image. We found the overall magnification and we traced the rays through the system. So this is how you do an example with two separate lenses. You break it into two discrete problems. You solve those individually and then you bring everything back to the final, uh, your, your final answer. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.